Okay, to what the heck? It's fine. It always does this. It says there's no audio in there. It is. Um, okay, today is emergency scary day. Uh, I have been advised to take all unnecessary programs and crap off my computer and, you know, do the cleaning up the temporary files and all that. Still haven't defragged yet because I had an emergency. And here's what the emergency was. Something happened with YouTube and I couldn't see videos. So I said, what do you do when you can't see videos? And um, the search result answers that I got said that Flash had crashed. They say you're supposed to uninstall the old Flash and install new Flash. And I did a dumb thing. I should have downloaded install new Flash. <coughs> but not used it, excuse me, <clears throat> until I had uh, uninstalled Flash. Because it killed Firefox. Which may be the problem. Now that I think about it. Let me go on. Okay, so it gets worse. So it killed Firefox and I freaked out. Because I said, oh no, no internet access. So, uh, I went to System Restore. And it said, no, 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 you have to clean up stuff. So I cleaned up stuff. I've been working on this for like six hours today. So I cleaned up stuff. And then it said you could do System Restore. And there's a thing on system on this computer's System Restore that I've never seen before. And it's where you can customize the point at which you go back. Which would be that point, not earlier. I thought you could say, I called it oops. The point was oops. And I was going to have it restore like five hours in the past. But the farthest back the system restore will go now is oops, which is after the mistake. And I don't think you can change it. So screwed up system restore. Anyway, a lot of extra stuff is off the computer now, but it's still running slowly. You can hear it. Whee! Um, let's see. So if anybody can help me figure out how to restore system restore. <laughs> oh, God. And then the other thing is, oh, oh, I got an Internet Explorer, which I hate. But when nothing else works, get on Internet Explorer, right? And it worked fine. I could see videos. So I think maybe the Flash did install. There was a warning that said that the file was missing, but I think it must have installed. I think Flash crashed on Mozilla Firefox. Firefox still isn't right. Um, but I can work the internet on Internet Explorer. But it, I like my add-ons on Firefox and all my uh, uh, bookmarks and whatnot the way they are. I like Firefox. I just like Firefox. And one of the add-ons that I've got is Ad Blocker because ads on Internet Explorer drive me crazy. So, especially on my Yahoo email account. Gee whiz. Yuck. Okay, so, mostly I've got it back together. Skype is working. Um, if any of you evil geniuses out there could Skype me or something uh, and help me get this poor old bastard limping along, I was just trying to make it better. See, when I was a kid, I was... they. I, I took a Stanford Binet IQ test and I tested his borderline genius. At which point my life became a living hell. Mom had to drive me 11 miles to a special class in an elementary school across the San Fernando Valley from where we live. I didn't want to go. I, I, for the first time I was really getting, this is third grade, I was getting along really well in my local school. No, they made me go to that place. Well, Mom resented having to drive me there and then go home and then drive back to get me in and go home because there was no bus and we were on the freeway the ventura freeway in los angeles you know and mom would i have to drive 44 miles a day and she beat me and i'd sit there it was a volkswagen and i'd sit there and i'd look at the door lock and try to decide which was going to hurt worse the beating or if i jumped out of the car so i used to get um tortured for not being able to do algebra and basic computing and stuff. I mean, I was in the third grade, you know, and I, 
I couldn't finish my homework because I couldn't think. I couldn't concentrate. <coughs> I probably would have been good at math. <coughs> but they made it living hell. Excuse me. I wasn't allowed to eat. I wasn't allowed to get up from the table. And they'd make me sit there so long that I'd fall asleep. And then I'd get beaten for that. So I still have this thing that when I'm doing something kind of nerdy or sciencey or mechanically or geeky, that um, I really have a PTSD reaction. I really kind of flash back and I start panicking. So I, um, I didn't mean to make it worse. So if anybody wants to help me uh, patch this old bastard back together until I can get a new one, I'd appreciate it. That's it. I didn't mean to make myself cry. Um, uh, so PM me or you could Skype me. I'm R. Riverstone on Skype. And um, just be nice and don't tell me I'm stupid. See, my ex is mad at me right now because this computer is not working well. She's blaming the animals, and it's really kind of stupid because the animals don't have anything to do with this. This computer probably got too hot because it's three inches from an aluminum roof, and I live in a desert. Even though I have this big, big box fan. And the little netbook, well, what happened to it was, you know, there's not a lot of room in that kitchen. And um, when it gets really cold, I can't wash dishes. And uh, the dishes have to pile up until I can. There, and I only have a little bar-sized refrigerator. And I had about this much spaghetti sauce left in a can sitting on the stove. And I don't know what happened. Some kind of vibration or something. The spaghetti sauce fell off and it landed on the keyboard. And it kind of dinked it up a little bit. It caused a little damage, but not much. And she thought the cats did it. And then the other thing was, I was showing you guys... Uh, how the water, the hose water here makes these rings of minerals and stuff. And I was tilting a saucepan toward the webcam on the on the netbook. And I kind of lost my balance and I sloshed a little water on the keyboard. And my ex is really mad at me. Like I'm a doofus and I shouldn't have so many animals. Like I'm irresponsible. and So it's kind of plugging into that whole thing. I'm sorry. I'm 55 years old. Do you think I... No, nah, you never get over stuff like that. So, uh, if you want to help me, but don't tell me how stupid I am, please. And don't yell at me and stuff. I'll tell you a funny story about my ex. She was my boss. And um, I was a volunteer at this radio station out here. And um, I was kind of like falling in love with her. I was, I was falling in love with her. And she had this blonde, very fine hair that was naturally curly. And it was one of those days out, it just happens a lot out here because of the wind and whatnot. There's a lot of static. And, you know, things like stick out and crackle and stuff. Well, there was a slight breeze coming in through the window. And the blinds were cracked just enough to let a little light in. And her hair was like wafting these curls, and it was twinkling, and I was like, I, I was sitting in her office here, and she was trying to, I was just learning Windows, believe it or not, I was on a web TV for many years, and she was trying to teach me how to do something, and she said, next, you're supposed to hit the next button, and I'm looking all over the page trying to find the next button, and I'm just slightly aroused, and she's leaning over me, and, and that hair is twinkling, and oh, God, and, um, I couldn't find the next key, and I'm looking all over. She, next. And, like, now I'm starting to get freaked out. And it's also turning me on. <laughs> next. <laughs> next. Oh, my God. I finally found the next key. Thank God. Well, that's one of our funny stories. But she is kind of a bully about geeky stuff. And, and she doesn't like my animals. No, she does. She just... I don't know. It's control issues. Anyway, she's being kind of mean to me. So I can't ask her. So help me, please. But don't get me excited. <laughs> Bye!